Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Really good run as Eve or Eden last time. No lost, no lost. That's not the loss. That could be Isaac. Yeah, my man. All right. Uh, I feel really good about that last run, and I I'm kind of struggling to feel why. I think it's just because like it was a comfortable run. And I played well enough to not throw. And after a couple of dubious kind of runs yesterday, there was the seed was just on screen, by the way. I, I that's that's exactly what I needed, basically. SMB super fan in our first item room. This is seller one, right? Yeah, we can afford to come down here. Uh, it's it feels like that was pretty much exactly what I needed. Now I don't know why the frame rate just got so crappy, but usually it reveals itself in a couple of seconds, so that's fine. Uh, SMB super fan, you might be saying, "Oh, trademark Northern Lion Luck, blah 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 blah." You might be right. You know that is a very very lucky first room, but it is worth noting. SMB super fan, probably one of the worst uh, all stats upgrade in the game. They're not created equal or created equally. Uh, some of them have you know differing kind of values for what they give you all stats up. I believe the SMB Superfan gives you one of the lowest amounts of damage up, so it, it's not necessarily an enormous coup, but it's a great item and there's no way I'm gonna be the douchebag that rerolls SMB Superfan in the first item room. It's still good enough to take and good enough to not complain about even though I'm kind of ignoring that sentiment right now. In any case, I'm happy with where we're at. If only SMB Superfan, you know what would really buff F SMB Superfan? Making it so that it counted as a bandage. You ever think about that? Uh, I would love to be able to go to the secret room on this floor and actually access Mom's Key. I do owe everybody an apology because I've been saying that Mom's Key gives you more chest drops on the chest. That is absolutely factually incorrect, uh, and I apologize for my ignorant uh, assumption of what it did. I think I was I was told what it did, and then in my head it just became oh more chest drops or something like that. So that's my bad. If I if I've been spreading misinformation to you, I apologize. Two of spades works out fairly nicely for us. Obviously, we did get enough money to make my dream come true here, so I am going to buy uh, Mom's Key. It also gives us two more keys, which is going to be great with two of spades. And I figured, why not come to this room? Normally, I don't actually like doing my due diligence and actually finishing off all these rooms, but this floor has been so nice to me. I figured, why not give it a shot? I don't mind losing that, uh, that half spirit heart. Picked up one more cent. We can always pick up a spirit heart when we leave this floor, if there was one in the shop, which I can't remember. And we're going to be fighting the Widow, which is not so bad. We did use a lot of bombs on this floor, but bombs are bombs are not key, you know? Bombs are, for the most part, relatively easier to come by, easier to, to spend, like, not as agonizing to spend. Why don't you jump down here, my friend? I gotta realize that it's time to stop shooting the nubs, we just keep them, like, at bay, and then we get the Widow to jump on top of them and crush them. That was a much smoother fight than the last time I fought the Widow. That's a great reroll. <laughs> We get the, the part of speedball that I wanted the most, which was the speed upgrade. Oh, we don't have a spirit heart. Okay. Uh, you know what? Just to be safe. And we'll probably use two of spades immediately on the next floor, but it would be very nice to find a tinted rock. Uh, yeah, good reroll. We reroll the speed plus shot speed upgrade to a speed plus damage upgrade. Not too shabby. No tinted rocks. Could take, uh, you know, 25 seconds and shoot all of those poops in there, but that's not really the way that I like to play the game for the most part. You could just, yeah, there we go. I had a feeling you wouldn't be as much of a tr uh, problem as uh, you want it to be. One of these nubs will explode, just watch out for uh, bomb rocks around it. Takes a lot of damage as well. Kind of hoping for a black market, but it was a little bit of a pipe dream there. More like a ladder dream, I guess, but you get the idea. That was a very stupid dodge on my part, but we managed to not get punished for it, which doesn't always happen, so I appreciate it. Let's move along. This is a boss trap room. We can't take advantage of that. Quickly peeked in to see if there were any tinted rocks in there. There's a tinted rock right here, and thankfully we avoided taking damage. Gave us a... Uh, I didn't see the spirit art for... Or I didn't see the... Yeah, I didn't see the spirit art for a second there. I got a little scared. On Zeus Rune allows us to see all the secret rooms, even the second one, which is very nice. Oh wow, we did find a black market actually. I should have used our two of spades earlier. Let's just pop that right now so I have eight keys. That gave us a ton of money as well. Uh, we're going to get Stigmata for free, so let's be honest. This is trademark Northern Lion Luck now. Somebody up there likes me very much. This is a, a fantastic position to be in, and we're not going slow either. We're going pretty quickly here. That is Lazarus's Rags, which, to be honest with you, I might save as a potential reroll target if we can buy a battery in our shop. 
chests uh, do pay out with more as a result of mom's key, I believe. So like, now I'm like, I'm second guessing myself on stuff that I'm pretty sure I know, but there is a battery for sale in there. There's a starter deck as well, and you know, starter deck's fine. There's some value in taking advantage of that. We're not going particularly slowly. That feels really good. Broken Ankh. We might as well keep it. Let's fight our boss. I think we have a secret room to go to as well. Blighted Ovum. A pretty rare uh, first floor boss, actually. Or set, well, first set boss. Uh, doesn't seem to show up all that often. Usually you end up with a monstro or a pin or something like that. Lucky us. We're going to get an HP upgrade and a spirit heart. We're going to take our HP upgrade. It was a tinted rock, not a spirit heart, but it became a spirit heart. I'm going to take Guppy's Collar for a number of reasons. Uh, one, the chance to become Guppy. One, things go terribly wrong. We can get a 50% uh, chance to come back to life. Two, we can reroll Lazarus's Rags. Lazarus's Rags rerolling into the quarter is not incredible, but it does give us the ability to basically buy whatever we want from the shop. Mystery Sack pays out with some decent consumables now that it's actually been patched to do something. And this is, this is feeling pretty good. I'll take the starter deck. And our card is going to be Justice here, which I'd say is worth picking up. And I'm going to take the battery as well, just so that we're ready to go in case we find the item room right off the bat on the next floor. It's a bit of a, an aggressive play, but it doesn't really matter that that much. And this is an incredibly good run right here. It's super lucky. Uh, I'm not really too worried about farming up the, they're grinding the last few items we're missing here. Uh, two of Hearts, the Lovers. I'm going to take it. Could have re-rolled it to something else, but to have two out of three guppy items this early on is great. Our damage is high enough that I'm not super worried about um, dying, and even if we do die, we're going to come back, right? So, yeah, I mean, all the HP that we've picked up so far on this run is worthless, but all of the HP that we picked up on this run, except for the HP that we got on the last boss fight, has come in the form of something that's useful to us for other reasons as well. Stigmata comes with a damage upgrade. SMB Superfan, all stats upgrade, so... I'm not overly concerned about the fact that we did just uh, lose a little bit of HP that we had. And if you want to get technical, we traded uh, the HP that we got on that boss for Guppy's Collar. So I still feel like we've gotten the value out of the HP that we picked up. That was not good damage. I don't know why I thought I had Infamy for some reason. We didn't have it like all last run. Yep, dodge right into that. I have a, a shocking prevalence for dodging. It's going to be a bit of a slow floor. Shocking predilection for dodging straight into the bony shots for reasons that I honestly can't really even fathom myself. Again, chests become so worthwhile now. Money's going to be through the roof. Red chests become the most valuable things on the planet. We might even want to open that chest because, uh, again, I think Mom's Key it seems to make it so golden chests pay out with more. Do regular chests pay out with more? If so, it might be worth playing. Depends on our time situation as we make more progress here. Hopefully that's a Joker card. Notched Axe is going to get the pickup and reroll treatment. You know, you tend to find those consumable batteries in many, many shops. So we can augment our rerolls anyway. Get more of them if necessary. Rules card. Oh, no way. Chubb dislikes smoke. I find that very surprising. Thankfully our speed was high enough to do that. Uh, unfortunately, we're going to have to come back that way. But hopefully we pick up a guppy item in the process so that when we come back that way, we can just fly. Which makes that room substantially easier. For now, I'm hoping to yeah get to this boss rush room or boss room as quickly as possible, so that we can just sneak in there and snag a potential deal with the devil, or maybe some kind of improvement in one way or the other. Handled that pretty poorly at the start. There, you're supposed to shoot one of those nubs so that you actually have an escape route, and then you know shoot the other one so you have the escape route on the other side. And apart from that, just keep uh, you know tight and bright here, moving it around, doing some uh, semicircular dodges. That was a poorly timed one on my part. Going to be a bit of a long fight here, but that's okay. We should be out of this floor before 10 minutes. And uh, that that's pretty much where we want to be from a pace perspective if we want to make boss rush happen. And at this point, like I want to make boss rush happen because I do think it gives us a better chance of getting the D100. And maybe the mind, but to be honest with you, would I even recognize the mind if I found it? I think the body is red, the soul is blue. I don't know, maybe the mind's like yellow or something like that. Gray. Little Steven and an eternal heart. We'll take we'll take them both right away. And we'll do a little bit more exploration here because with this much money, we might as well go to all the shops that we have access to. I had a feeling we might find something there and that's going to be very useful for protecting our eternal heart and maybe more stuff in the future as well. Never mind. I left a little <laughs> a little early on that one. Unfortunately. And we're going to have to go through that room again, but now like going the other way 
It, it should be. It's symmetrical. It shouldn't matter, but we can um, just run through it on the bottom side as quickly as possible, and it should work out for us. Our damage is good. It's just these guys are annoying. And again, the, the great thing about nine lives is that if you die, it, it doesn't really matter. You can always come back. Well, not always, but you can come back many, many times. It's like a better version of Lazarus' rags. Five bombs. Wouldn't mind looking for the secret room. Let's see if this uh, chest pays out with... Yeah, that, that's more than a chest would normally pay out with. So, I am assuming that Mom's Key works in that way that I was thinking. We will take Champion's Belt for sure. Uh, I don't think we need to take anything else. The Tarot card, you could probably come up with a pretty good case for making the Tarot card worthwhile. I'm going to come back up here. We only need one more rune to be able to reroll Black Bean. So, I'm going to come back up here and, and play this. Which gave us a key, which is lovely, and a little bit more money. That is not good damage. Let's try to let's try to keep it to that amount of damage, because if I lose this eternal heart, it won't be the end of our run, but it'll be a slight disappointment. Even if if I lose this uh the last half of the spirit heart, I could pretty easily lose the eternal heart as well. Just by walking on those spikes or getting hit by a bullet on that, you know, heinous room. I'm I'm a little bit more pleased with the way that went down at the end there. Champion's Belt, of course, damage upgrade, so it's very nice. And what do we have here? Magic Fingers. All right, so we're going to go back to the shop. We are slowing down a little bit here, but, you know, with our HP so low, it helps to get as many kind of helpful augmentations as we can. Maybe a secret room? Inside, we find Pyro. That's great. I'm very glad I took the opportunity to do that. I don't often look for secret rooms, and that was uh, the right decision at that point. Not worried about our money at all, because every chest that we open has like five cents and then two keys and a bomb in it, basically. There we go, so that's what the rerolls are for. We get splash damage plus Cricket's body. I'm not proud of myself, but at the same time, we did manage to keep our Eternal Heart alive, so there's something to be said for that. Tears upgrade, splash damage, Cricket's body, Champion's Belt, which will make enemies, will make more champions spawn, but at the same time also gives us more damage. Uh, little Steven, I, I'd say that floor was a really nice net positive for us. I'm very happy with that Eternal Heart drop as well. I wonder if Eternal Hearts drop more often when you're at low HP. Now, we do have to do the, the most challenging part of having an Eternal Heart here, which is not picking it up right away, but remembering to pick it up later. Judgment. Yeah, that's, that's why I wanted to throw it down, just in case it was that. We'll we'll make very good use of this Judgment card, because we do have the Lovers and Two of Diamond, Two of Hearts, sorry, which uh, works very nicely for us. And this run is, is now shaping up very nicely. Cricket's body can, not always, but often, semi-single-handedly turn a run from a little bit harrowing, although we've had some great items dropped already for us for free, uh, into something that's a little bit more comfortable, which is great. Now, I don't want to pick up that battery yet, because obviously we're so close to actually being able to... Uh, uh, get a D6 charge kind of naturally, which I would prefer. High Priestess. Use that on the boss room if it's at all possible. Great floor thus far. Largely because of the fact that we're dealing so much damage. Well, what do we want to do with our battery then? Are we going to reroll anything? What was what was on the shop there? That might be where it's best served. Well, we don't want the Bible. Just to ensure that it doesn't show up again, I'll do the stupid thing. And I'll, I'll pick up the Bible and then uh, reroll it. And I think Black Candle, for the amount that we paid for it, is fine. Now we're going to come back here and start playing this gentleman. Two of Hearts. So we'll pop that. I know we have the Lover's card as well. We can always go back for that in a minute. Alright, that's fine. If you want to be a jerk about it, you can be a jerk about it. See if I care. Our item room was right there the whole time. And you dropped a battery as well, which is actually beautiful, so we don't have to backtrack for our other battery if our item room sucks. We are slowing down to the point that I would feel a little bit more comfortable about not slowing down. I don't I don't love Broken Mirror anymore. We had it on a run uh, with Sacred Heart, and it didn't ruin Sacred Heart. I think we still won, but it made it so Sacred Heart was not nearly as good, which was disappointing to me. So I think Sacred Heart is going to re-enter, like, re-roll territory for me. Admittedly, I've forgotten what the four does. I think it rerolls everything on the ground or maybe all the item pedestals. I don't know. We got a little bit of a puzzle box on this floor, which I always like. So we'll pick this up straight away. We might lose out on the chance to reroll our deal with the devil as a result of this, but it's okay. And we're also going to go much more slowly, but we're getting 
You know, kind of a, yeah, that's what we're looking for. Kind of a similar effect to our uh, boss rush room here, just by re-rolling an item room, you know? We get four pedestals and we choose which one we want, sort of. So we have the lover's card, we'll, we'll activate High Priestess uh, as soon as possible so we can carry both lover's cards and I wanna definitely be able to fight the, oh man, those battery charges are so key because we are gonna need those for our uh, boss fight. Well, largely for the deal with the devil, but still, this is awesome. All right, dark one, you should get squished almost dead right off the bat. Dead soon after that. We do get a deal with the devil, we get meat, I'm happy to have it, great item. We're gonna fight Krampus, doesn't bother me in the least. Every floor we get like two damage upgrades, how can I complain about uh, fighting Krampus and possibly getting another damage upgrade here, or at the very least getting a reroll into another deal with the devil. Lump of coal will take, Krampus' head, we will reroll. And I, I relish the opportunity to have a reroll here. What do you got for me? The Pact, extremely good. And we, have, we haven't even done everything on this floor actually yet. We have uh, this other High Priestess card. We gained so much HP, didn't we start this with two? Now we have four? Yeah, we, we totally did. All right, so we'll play you, we'll get low here. You gotta pay out with something sooner or later. Look, the coin purse might be amazing. There might be 48 hour energy pills in there, but if there's a battery in here, which there is, I'd rather do this. Now we might be able to get a Joker card or something from that, that playing card, but I think it's better to just maybe reroll that and we get Spider Baby out of it. You know, it's it's fairly rare to find a situation where all of your rerolls work out for you, but this this floor has done a pretty good job of it. We might have shot ourselves in the foot for boss rush, but we uh don't really need to worry about that all that much. Figured we come to the curse room because we're still only one item away from becoming guppy. I, I was a bit of an idiot. I probably should have gone to our boss trap room, but I already popped the lover's card and now we'll take this eternal heart with us. This is uh this is an amazing floor. Yeah, this this one's really good. Fat odd mushroom, the pact. Spider baby. What else did we pick up? I forget. And Bible got rerolled into black candle. Just a really nice situation. A staggering amount of HP. All right, we have five and a half minutes, which is like a little less than three minutes per floor for us to do this if we still want to do boss rush, um, which we, that's not very good. But honestly, we may not want to do boss rush because we're probably gonna have to fight for it, but there's a lot of skulls. And if we start cracking these skulls with our bombs, we could fairly conceivably get a, um, a card that allows us to teleport. How's our luck? I think it's like, it's at a base level. Come on, spiders, you gotta be a little bit more aggressive than this. I don't love Little Chub. I don't hate it either anymore. Um, it's I think it's actually like half decent in Rebirth. The moon, the moon is the card that we need. We can move on now. Um, I can use this to teleport out of the boss rush room and take an item for free. So I think it is worth trying to get to it now. We'll see. Normally D6 means a little bit of backtracking, if that's kind of your thing. It's not really my thing though. If we have to skip Little Chub and the rerolls associated with it to get to, to Boss Rush, I will do so. So apologies for sounding like this is like a military operation or something like that. If I will do what it takes, when it takes, how it takes, who it takes to get to that Boss Rush room. I forgot what the, the marine catchphrase was. I think it's hua, but I was going to be like a hi -oh! <laughs> More of like an Ed McMahon type thing going on there, I guess. Boom, baby! That's not it either. I know we have a reroll ready for little Chad. But I think getting the boss rush... Like, this is the kind of thing... I, I'm probably a little bit overly paranoid about it, but... I, I feel like the need to explain it, because in vanilla, it was like, You didn't go back and reroll little Chad! Why were you so lazy about it? Now there's like an excuse to be lazy about it, and it's a good excuse because you can, um, like boss rush can really mean something for you, especially in our current situation where if we get the boss rush, there's probably a better than average, well not better than average, but an okay chance for us to get, um, you know, one of the last items we need to actually get Platinum God. So I, I don't feel bad about, about skipping little Chad, except I, I feel like the vestiges of feeling bad. Still have our boss room, unfortunately. I don't really want Bible Tract. Uh, that makes me feel a little bit better about wasting that key earlier. We're at uh, three minutes, 20 seconds. We can probably beat the boss with about 
if we had to, probably with like 15 seconds. I don't want to push that though. I'd rather have like 40 seconds. But you don't always get to choose how much time you have for boss rush. What's our other card? It's High Priestess. So we can stomp this boss quickly with High Priestess because High Priestess doesn't really work against the uh, mom. Oh, there's two of you. I forgot that. I should have known. I've fought this room about a hundred thousand times, but come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Would have only taken like ten seconds to backtrack, but now I'm I'm too sunk in. I know there's a key over there. I can't do it. Can't justify it yet. Don't really need that nickel, I think. If there's a red chest in here. I'm gonna go through a real crisis of faith. Oh shit! I think we. God damn it! You better make me guppy. I swore there's no guppy in here. We can teleport out to the moon card, but then we've actually got to fight the boss rush room. I don't want to do that. Mind you, we are we're we're wrecking face in here, and we did pick up two spirit arts. I can't feel too salty about it, but we're getting to the point where we're gonna be at like 18 minutes on the next floor. That's not very good. We gotta start cracking open these in order to get like the emperor card or something like that. Goat head is also great though. I appreciate it. Okay, this is good. This could still be done. It's gonna have to be very fast, though. High Priestess is gonna murder you. Goathead gives us a guaranteed deal with the devil. That's a good item. Guppy or Mom's Knife or something. You know what? Fear Shot or specifically Dark Matter is good enough. Going down to the next floor. I'd say we have about a minute and a half to find our boss. Then we can teleport out, go to all the other rooms. I'm sorry, little Chad. You, you didn't deserve the treatment that I gave you there. Let's keep the overlay up on the screen for now. Because this is gonna get a little harrowing here. Dark Matter and uh, Cat of Nine Tails both... Obviously, uh, tears up or not tears, but damage upgrades. So that helps us out. I figured, you know, why don't go for the path of greatest resistance here? We'll go for the big rooms. What do you got for me? You do have some kind of card. It's the stars card, so we could use our moon card if we wanted to. And if we find ourselves in a dead end, we could stars card and maybe find ourselves closer to the boss. You never know, right? Oh, you, you bitch fly. <laughs> You're just a bitch fly. That's what you are. These rooms haven't been too bad so far. Of course, I would like them to be over faster, but what can I do? I know there's a lot of consumables being dropped. Okay, I'm going to Stars card. I think we got to go faster here. I don't know if we're going to have too many other chances of that, so I figured we'd take a shot at it. Let's see if this ends up being a, a winning maneuver for us. Okay, Wallmaster is like, you got to be a little faster here. We're going to do this. Probably should go back and pick up that card. You never know, it could be the Emperor. And even if it's not, it could take us closer to the Emperor. I consider myself... Okay, that's pretty good. I consider myself relatively good at, at getting through these rooms as quickly as possible and, and making, you know, making lemonade out of lemons when it comes to boss rush, but this one's looking a little scary. Devil card will help out against Mom. Every room that we go to and don't see the boss room is, uh, like, even scarier. Okay, this is going to be extremely close. You gotta die, man. You gotta go down, like, right now. What did I say? 20 seconds. Let's do it. Blue Mom's got a little bit more HP, I think. We got extremely lucky, by the way, that, um... Or, extremely lucky that our D6 is gonna be in order here. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Hurry, 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 I'm curling! I'm Canadian again. Hello. Isn't that weird? I'm Canadian. Okay. We made it. Uh, yeah, we'll take Death's Touch. Then we'll teleport the fudge out of there. That, see, what did I always, I always say, you should do your due diligence on boss rush room. Boss rush room can save your run. We sacrificed a lot to get into that boss rush room. There were some seriously good items in there. Uh, where's our, what the heck is even going on here? So we have a, we have a little bit of time to get back to where we were. The screen is just going to be totally covered here. Now if we could become guppy, the it would just be a disaster for the for the enemies. It's already kind of a disaster. I can barely see what's even happening. Appreciate the spirit heart at least. Suicide King. Oh, there's Look. Tammy's head would be amazing for us. So amazing that I think I'm going to roll with it actually. I'm not that interested in that. Uh, I realize that this will give us less rerolls, but we're we're past the reroll. We're, we're past peak reroll for this game. And we're, we're at the point where, you know, I'm accepting that we're probably not going to get any new items. It could happen. If it does happen, I would love it. But I'm mostly... What's our other Suicide King Emperor? Okay. I'm mostly just happy to be in a good position. It's been a fun run. Let's make it even more fun by not forsaking Tammy's head. Now, we will have... Uh, you know what? Let's go... Let's go... 
chest because we want to get new items if possible. And we'll we'll take both of these. I don't think there's any reason not to at this point. We're going to steamroll pretty much every room that we walk into, so I can't feel too bad about it. And we'll head down to the next floor. That was like the perfect example of my boss rush philosophy actually working out. It doesn't always work that way, but when it does, it feels pretty good. This is this is bad for my brain. Those are not red chests, but kind of who cares? See who our last enemy is. They're going to get shat on. And I have recognized by the way, that's what I'm trying to say that it, like it's intellectually or it would be intellectually dishonest for me to be like that's why you always go to boss rush, but what I'm trying to say is that's why I always go to boss rush because sometimes shit like that happens and it makes our run just ridiculously strong and powerful. I appreciate it. We didn't even have to use the D6 to make that happen, which was hilarious. Uh, I hate this room. Can't believe we didn't get hit by any of the, the riffraff there. It's actually like, it's bad for my brain. Every time we walk into a room with Tammy's head, it's it's actually like messing with my, my head a little bit. That chest was not what I was looking for, but if it had been what I was looking for, I would have found it. Conquest, why you gotta do this? I don't need your bullshit right now. Mom's knife? Dude, this is so sad because, because like, Mom's knife doesn't synergize well with uh, Death's Touch, so I'm actually gonna say no to Mom's knife and remember that. Because at some point I, I may... Uh, need mom's knife and I'll require the game to give it to me but that's not the situation there would have much preferred any guppy item let's check this out I'm not rerolling my whole run uh, and I can't fly but we've got to try to get these because they could have guppy items contained therein or you know double wheel of fortunes which actually makes more sense to bring down to the next floor than suicide king but well we might as well crack these open now uh, are we really going to sacrifice us? I don't like this room anymore. Like, I always fuck this room up. It's hard to get those things out of there. We do have 95 bombs, so... Come on. Just get behind it. Get behind it. Oh, lovely. There we go. Two hermit cards. Oh, bull fucking shit. Yeah, oh my god. Okay, we got a Jera rune and the Emperor. What's our other rune? Is that a second Jera rune? It's a Perthro rune. That's good. Look, I'm not happy at all with the damage that I've taken there, but Perthro Jera is a great combination. Don't die. Can we Jera our Perthro rune? Yera, sorry. Can we Yera our Perthro rune? I don't know. It doesn't really matter if we die, because we're going to do like enough damage that we can kill any boss anyway without getting hit it might take us a couple lives to do it but that's absolutely fine so many keys much appreciated just wait here for a second can't afford to take any more dumb damage by being a dumb idiot like you are you know what fuck that key i don't need it that much so my thinking of course is that we yara rune the chests on the chest and then we, there's one more surviving? How is that possible? Uh, we Yera rune the chests on the chest, and then we perthrow them if they're bad. Seems very s simple to me. That red chest rune, like, destroyed my health, but also might have given me the greatest gift of all. I'm very sorry about this one. I'm, I, I'm actually surprised that Mom's heart didn't die from that extravaganza. I can't believe I got hit by that zombie either. I'm playing fairly sloppily right now. I'll just... I'll own up to it. I don't care. We're going to head up to the next floor. Again, if I only have one HP, I should still be able to win. We're killing almost every room instantly with uh, with Tammy's head. Cricket's body action here. Don't see any tinted rocks there. Again, could always be mistaken. Red chests. Red chests. That is a, good, it's a golden chest, but we should probably open it. I mean, I don't feel bad about opening it, but it certainly wasn't really what I was looking for. Our last wave might be like four monstros now. No, just one, four monstros, one chub. Same difference. Good, bad. I'm the one with Tammy's head. Doesn't really matter. Nothing. Daddy long legs. Very easy. 
Famine. Very easy. Don't see any tinted rocks. That was much easier than I expected. Thought I'd have to actually fire some more tears there. All right. Um, we're almost down to the chest. I did, well, I, in my defense, I think it was kind of understandable to get hit there. I couldn't see shit. <laughs> like, at all. Oh, that that's not good damage. But I got hit by a beam of light from heaven. So I, I can, like... I can feel justified in that one. Let's try not to die here, because we've already done half the fight, and I don't want to lose my Tammy's head bonus, you know? But it's, you know, it's a little scary, but I think I've got the appropriate level of fear going on right now. We gotta get over in that corner quickly. If we die, we die. It's important not to tilt. You know, tilting is what kills the majority of Isaac runs, in my opinion. That and, you know, sometimes poor decisions and poor play, which could kill this run if we make it, if we continue on like this, but, uh, we'll head down to the next floor. So we Jero, Jero rune first. We have enough keys. And that gives us eight of those, and then we can reroll the shitty ones with Perthrow. Firemind is good enough. Halo of Flies is good enough. Money bag, sack of pennies is not. Shears is great, but not good enough. Abel's not good enough. Gemini is probably good enough. Lard. Could keep us alive, so I'll take it. Little Brimstone, I think we take. So we'll take this, this, this. It's actually a pretty good haul, all things considered. This, and this. And then we'll per throw these three. And we get Dark Bum, which is fine. And Tech.5, which is fine. And Mom's Eye, which is going to be crazy sometimes, but is fine. Pretty good haul, all things considered, I'd say. Now, the one thing we have to be very concerned about is the explosions from, from Firemind. And that might happen closer than I'd like because of uh, the Tammy's head interaction. I wish Super Gluttony hadn't died first. I could, should have actually planned that a little bit better because we could have had Super Gluttony die last and he would have given us HP. This is just ridiculous. I think I've got Little Brimstone in here somewhere, but I'm just like, yeah, don't worry about it. Little Brimstone, your, your time will come. I promise. HP, no HP, that's fine. Little Chad, regular sized Chads, temporarily. Please drop hearts. Uh, keys, probably not gonna come in handy, but I appreciate the thought, I guess. Nice. I would like some more consumable red hearts to drop. I'll admit, that was extremely quick. I like that one a lot. Okay, so like probably a third of the chest is done already. I'm not just being uh, dramatic, by the way. We may well have to beat, uh... yeah. We may well have to beat Blue Baby without getting hit. But we're gonna have many opportunities to do so. So I'm gonna explore like a little bit more because we already found our boss room. Uh, to me, it makes sense to explore a little bit more just to see if we can uh, maybe pick up some more red hearts or even another item or something like that. None of the rooms have really been super tricky thus far. I know we could get Dark Bum to pick up that HP. That's another reason I'd like to explore some more so we could actually get uh, maybe a spirit heart or something. And as long as rooms continue to be like this, this is good enough for me. Fish Head. I think Broken Onk might be like a little bit more valuable. If we come back with the spirit hearts from Broken Onk, that would be better for me. Uh, I'm going to pick this up. Sorry, Dark Bum. This one's for me. We just stand far enough away. Just one? Just one, I think. And just money. We don't need that. That much. The chubs don't die in one hit, unfortunately. So let's soften them up a little bit first before we bring down the hammer. So glad I didn't take Mom's knife here. We would have won more easily, but it would have been way less kind of like crazy. That's a dime. Ooh la la. Can barely find the door. I gotta stop shooting for a second so we can find the freaking door. All right. Oh well, I took damage via you know picking up Yum Heart, so I guess I might as well take Yum Heart with me as well. Or not take it with me, but you know. Wow, the knockback is just absolutely absurd on this guy. I can't believe that didn't kill him. Got a Degas rune for purity. Um. That removes our curse, but also gives us a spirit heart. It's pretty valuable, honestly. We're probably ready to fight the boss, but I kind of like the idea of exploring the entirety of the floor to just get whatever other upgrades we could possibly get. And because I like this run, this run's been pretty fun. I mean, anytime you get Tammy's head and Death's Touch, like, you're, you're set up for some pretty good shit. 
I gave him that just because I couldn't pick it up right now. I know there's another half heart that we could have tried to take advantage of, but whatever. Will we still get a spirit heart from this, even though I'm going to kill War last? Probably not. That hurts. That one's for me, even though you'd probably pay out with a spirit heart. Whoa. Three peeps or six peeps? Three peeps. That's not bad. Uh, you take that. No! Take the half heart. Oh, he's ready. Okay, that's good. We might have done that fairly uh, ideally. This room would be very satisfying if they died right away. Well, it's pretty close. That was bad damage for me. Unfortunately, uh, still none of the, you know, no D100. But fortunately, this run was a lot of fun uh, on the way, so I don't mind it all that much. Should easily survive. We did get carried. We got so many good items on this run. So many good items we actually passed up Mom's Knife because it would have been not too easy, but doesn't really synergize properly. If it synergized properly with Death's Touch, I don't know what I would even want out of that. You know, turn the... What I would want is like a visual effect of turning uh, Mom's Knife into like a spinning knife. And just keep the damage the same. And have the knives shoot out and spin instead of just like come back to you, but... That's... I've got a little bias towards the visual effect of Death's Touch, I guess. Very easy fight. There you go. Send it off proper. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.